Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, i-click mo muna ang subscribe button para maging updated ka sa videos ko. Good day! Our story is about Estrellita, the Little Wishing Star. It's a story and illustrations by May Tobias Papa, published by Adarna House. Let's start! Estrellita wanted to be a wishing star. Grandma Star used to say that it was what good stars were supposed to be. So they can help make people's wishes come true. And so Estrellita badly wanted to be a wishing star. But she was always late. All day long, she loved to chase fat and fluffy clouds across the sky. And so when she came out at night, she would always be tired. By then, all the other stars were already out and shining brightly, while all the people had already gone to sleep. Noel wanted a wishing star. Somebody told him that wishing stars made wishes come true. There was something really important he wanted to wish for. Something that seemed impossible. So he decided he needed a wishing star badly. But it seemed he could never find one for himself. Night after night, his eyes scanned the skies, looking for that special star. He had no idea what it looked like. The stars all looked the same to him. Still, patiently, he waited and watched out for his wishing star. Estrellita was an orphan. She wanted to be a wishing star. Noel was an orphan. He wanted to have a wishing star. She saw him first. Right away, she wanted to be his wishing star. He th she thought he had the saddest pair of eyes she had ever seen. Not that she had already seen that many. So, the following night, she came out early. It took a lot of effort, but Estrellita felt happy. For the first time in her life, she wasn't late. But pretty soon, all the other stars started coming out, and they were all brighter than Estrellita. And to make things worse, she could not find her little boy. Estrellita looked everywhere for him, through the windows of each and every house, in the streets, among the chorus of young people that went singing like angels from house to house in the park. What she did not know was that Noel was actually a very sick little boy. That night, he was so ill that he could not even sit up in his wheelchair to go to the window. Estrellita was disappointed. Hmm, but they cannot give up. I must never, never give up, she told herself. The next day, Estrellita made up her mind to be really, really early. Even jolly Mr. Sun was quite surprised when she came out. It was still afternoon. Ho, ho, my little one. You're not planning to replace me yet, are you? Mr. Sun stifled a yawn. <sighs> Why? I'm not that old yet. I still have millions of years to go before my retirement. Estrellita quickly answered, Oh no, Mr. Sun, I have no such plans. But you see, I haven't been a good little star and I want to make up for it. Oh, aren't you overdoing it just a bit? Asked Mr. Sun. Grandma Star used to say that good stars are supposed to be wishing stars. Estrellita recalled the grandmother she missed dearly. Besides, there's a little boy I wanted to help. I see. Mr. Sun nodded. But... Coming out first won't be enough. You will have to be very bright, 
He paused as he yawned. For this little boy to notice you and not another star. There are, after all, millions of stars in the sky. <sighs> Mr. Sun yawned again. But how does one become a very bright star that people still want to wish upon? You will have to spin, spin, spin very fast. Faster than the other stars. Only then, you can gather all the energy to give out the brightest, most brilliant light. Oh, that's easy, said Estrellita. I'm young and strong. I know if I can spin fast if I want to. Ah, it isn't as easy as you see. Mr. Sun suddenly turned serious. Every time a wish comes true, a wishing star dies. An ache formed somewhere in Mr. Sun's middle for his little friend. But soon it was night, time for him to go. Goodbye, my little one, he said. Then he was gone. Every time a wish comes true, a wishing star dies. Was that how Grandpa's, Grandma Star died? And Papa and Mama Star? And Grandpa Star? Did they give out all the light they have within them to become a wishing stars? She was all alone in the sky that was just beginning to grow dark. There was no one she could ask except the shy, silent moon. Then Estrellita remembered the little boy's eyes, the saddest she had ever seen. Hmm, but he needs me. I have to help him get his wish. Whatever it is, I want to be his wishing star. Estrellita spun fast with all her might gathering up fantastic storms of radiant energy and luminous sparks of light, creating swirls of magnificent brilliance around her, until she shone the brightest entire night sky, only now beginning to be filled with millions of other stars. Noel wanted to listen to the lively sound of the street outside, he was too sick to sit up in his wheelchair, so the nurses set up his bed near the window. He looked up at the night sky and remembered his wish. Then the first star of the night, the brightest he had ever seen in his life, appeared. Oh, bright, bright star, that very first star I see, make good, make true the wish you grant to me took a deep breath and made his wish. I wish to see my mother. The bright star in the sky grew even more brilliant as Noel completed his wish. He had to close his eyes so they would not hurt from the fantastic light. Finally, he fell asleep. In his sleep, he dreamt the most wonderful dream of his entire life. He dreamt of the mother he had never seen. There was much there was much cause for rejoicing in the hospital the next day. It was Christmas morning, the birthday of the long wished for baby Jesus, who was born under a very bright star thousands of years ago. Not only that, Noel discovered, to the surprise of the doctor and the nurses, that he was suddenly well and could walk. In his heart was sweet face of his dear mother glowed warmly and brightly. It was like the memory he promised to keep forever of the brilliant star that made his one special wish come true on Christmas Eve. And that's the end of our story. Goodbye!